This chapter shows how typical starter and generator circuits are depicted on the diagram and helps you to learn about the symbols used within them. Beginning at the battery, you'll be guided through the circuits, ending at the starter motor and generator. The electrical cables are represented as black lines with their cross-section expressed as millimeters squared. For instance, this battery ground cable has a cross-section of 35 millimeters squared. In addition to its size, the cable's color is also expressed by a code. SW, for example, is black. Here's a list and an explanation to the color codes used within the Mercedes-Benz diagrams. Click on each of the codes to reveal the color. Some cables have one or more tracer colors. For these, the main color is expressed first, followed by the tracer. On cables that have a third color, then it's usually seen as a ring repeated at regular intervals along the cable. Generally, certain colors are used for specific purposes. Red, for example, normally indicates circuits joined to battery live. Similarly, brown is normally used for cables leading to ground. Black cables usually indicate circuits that are live when the ignition is switched on. Please remember, though, that there will be occasions where cables don't always comply with this color convention. This symbol and designation denotes a ground point. To find its location on the vehicle, you refer to the ground point search aid found in section B in most of the manuals. This lists all the ground points and their location on the vehicle. For example, in this manual for the A class, ground point W1 is located below the control module box. Connections that are bolted, such as this one on the battery terminal, are represented by this circular symbol. From this point on, you're going to follow the ignition, generator and starter circuits. We'll start at the battery positive terminal and follow the 6mm red cable. This unusual looking symbol indicates a filament splice or connector sleeve type of permanent connection. It's simply a group of cables that are spliced together in the wiring harness. The cables may be soldered together or crimped, depending upon the vehicle. Similar to the ground points, you can refer to the search aid for more information. The search aid lists the filament splices for that vehicle, together with the components and circuits to which they connect. Returning to the diagram, it's important to know where this particular cable continues. To find out where, simply look in the legend for J1 connector sleeve and click on the grid reference to find out where it continues. The cable you've been following from the battery continues into this item, which is the symbol for a control unit's multi-pin connector plug. The semicircle denotes the socket and the straight line the pin. The pin and socket numbers are also clearly labelled, matching, as you might expect, those on the actual connector plug. If the control unit has more than one connector plug, as in this example, then each one is classified by a number, to simplify identification. As you can see, the adjacent connector plug is number two. The wavy line denotes that the connector plug is not shown in its entirety, indicating that it continues elsewhere. Main components are represented by a broken line. To find out what the component is, click on its designation. This wavy line at the end of the box, like that on the connector block, means the component is not shown in its entirety and it continues elsewhere. 
Note that the electrical connections within major components are made by printed circuits or metal strips. These are shown on the diagram as lines without color codes. Returning to the diagram, note that the red cable you're following from the battery enters the control unit at pin number 1 of connector plug 5. It leaves via pin number 5 of connector plug 2. Following the red cable down the diagram, it leads to another connector. This connector doesn't have a designation or terminal numbers, which means that the connector is part of the component, the two items being attached by a short wiring harness. Here's an example of what it looks like in reality. As you can see, the component is an ignition switch. With this type of arrangement, the terminal designations on the connector match those on the component. The red cable you've been following from the battery connects to the switch at 30, a number which is significant. Throughout Mercedes-Benz wiring diagrams, certain numbers are allocated to terminal designations of switches and control units, etc. To find out what they mean, click on the terminal designations to receive an explanation. 15 denotes the ignition circuit and thus will be live only when the switch is in the second or third position. 15R identifies the auxiliary circuit, used mainly by the radio. This terminal is live when the switch is in the first, second or third position. P30 is the number allocated to the parking light circuit. Therefore, this terminal will be live only while the ignition switch is off or in the first position. 30 indicates permanent battery live. So you can expect this terminal of the ignition switch to be constantly live. 50 signifies the supply to the starter circuit. So this terminal, or any cables connected to it, will be live only when the ignition switch is turned to the third position. Because the numbers are shown on the switch on the wiring diagram, then the same numbers should be found on the actual component. This item is the ignition switch. It's this particular symbol and designation which signify the ignition switch. This part of the symbol denotes rotary operation, and this tiny diagram indicates the number of switch positions. On some diagrams, the internal contacts are shown to help you visualize how the switch functions. First, click on the switch to bring up a more detailed version. Here again are the symbols denoting rotary operation and the switch positions. This additional symbol denotes that the switch can rest or latch in several of the positions. However, as you know, the switch automatically returns from the start position. Now let's see how the switch operates. If you remember, battery live is supplied by the red cable to terminal 30 of the switch. Internally, this terminal supplies all four movable contacts. The only terminal that is live with the switch in the off position is P30 for the parking lights. Click on the ignition key for an explanation of its operation. Each click moves the switch to the next position. Turning the switch to position 1 maintains the supply to P30, whilst additionally supplying 15R. Turning the switch to position 2, which is ignition on, disconnects P30, whilst maintaining the supply to 15R. Simultaneously, terminal 15 for the ignition circuit is also supplied. In position 3, which cranks the starter, terminal 50 becomes live and the starter circuit is supplied. After the engine has started, the switch is released and, as you know, it returns to position 2. If you wish to repeat the animation sequence, click on the ignition key again. From the ignition switch, you'll now follow the cable from terminal 15. This black cable, 
with a cross-section of 2.5 millimetres, leads back into the control unit to a black dot. The solid dot denotes a permanent connection, and because it's within a major component, it's likely to be a soldered joint or something similar. In contrast, where lines cross without a black dot, then there's no electrical connection. This is the symbol for a fuse. In this example, the fuse is shown within the main component. So it signifies that it's on the actual component and it's replaceable. The fuse's rating, 25 amps in this instance, is also shown. To find out more about fuses, click on the fuse symbol. Fuses contained with others in a fuse box are shown surrounded by a broken line and a designation. F denotes fuse box and the number classifies which it is when there's more than one fuse box. The adjacent number, 8 in this example, identifies the fuse's position within the box. The 30 signifies that it's a permanently live fuse. If you continue with following the ignition circuit from the ignition switch, you'll see that it leaves the control unit at pin 2 of connector plug 5 and arrives next at component X1. This is the symbol for a multi-pin connector plug joining two sections of wiring together. As with other connectors, the short straight line represents the pin, whilst the semicircle indicates the socket. Now here's a question. Do you remember what the wavy line means? Click on the correct answer. Yes, that's correct. The wavy line indicates that the remainder of the connector plug is elsewhere in the diagram. To find the connector's location in the vehicle, refer to the connector search aid in section B of the manual. Just look down the list until you find the matching designation and an explanation as to where the connector is located. For example, in the Mercedes A-Class, you'll find a similar connector, X14-4, located in the battery compartment. The search aid also verifies the number of terminals the connector has. Once the connector is located on the vehicle, you'll find that the terminal numbers match those on the diagram. In the generic diagram, the black cable from the control unit goes into the socket half of the connector at terminal 4. The cable is joined to the pin of the connector and the circuit then continues back through the same connector at terminal 3. From the multi-pin connector, the cable continues to the generator charge warning lamp, represented by this symbol. Click on the symbol to view some other warning and indicator lamp symbols. Click on a symbol to find out what they indicate. From the generator warning lamp, the circuit continues via a blue cable and the connector X1 down to the generator. The generator is represented by this symbol, with several other smaller symbols incorporated within it. The wavy line indicates the generator produces alternating current, and the diode represents a rectifier, indicating that it's converted internally to direct current. The terminal designation B positive signifies the generator's output terminal. The attached cable leads to the battery positive terminal. 
Terminal D positive symbolizes the warning light connection and is the terminal to which the charge indicator circuit is connected. It has two functions. With the ignition on and the lamp lit, the small quantity of current flowing through the warning lamp and to ground via the generator is sufficient to excite the windings and create a magnetic field. Once the engine is running and the generator is charging, the D positive terminal becomes live. Because then there is a balanced positive at either side of the warning lamp, it goes out, indicating to the driver that the generator is functioning. Note that the generator's ground connection, W3, is directly joined to the generator symbol. It's shown this way because, as you know, the generator obtains its ground connection directly via its body, which is bolted to the engine. Like the generator, the starter motor symbol incorporates terminal designations and other smaller symbols. For instance, this part of the symbol denotes the motor. This, on the other hand, represents the starter solenoid. Like the generator, the ground connection is made via the motor's body. Terminal 30 is the starter's permanent connection to the battery, and 50 is the connection to the ignition switch. As with the generator, these designations are common to all Mercedes-Benz starter motors.